Hi there, it's the Immortal Adrian here again and in this episode I'm going to show you how to get more copper. Now it's possible that you're leaving more copper in the ground than you're actually getting out. Here we are at a standard copper node and I'm going to start to mine this and we're going to take it back to what is a normal position for a copper node. Okay, that's pretty much it. You can see I've pretty much mined it out. That's a bit of stone. So I'm just going to run back to my base now and dump what I've got in my inventory. Okay, I got 20 copper out of that. Right, here's the edge. I left this little piece here deliberately because this is going to help us find the rest of the copper. So we'll start with this edge here and we'll start to mine down. We keep going down until we hit basically what seems to be the edge of the copper and then trace it around. Okay, I think I've made my point. Right, so here we are. Here's the actual node. This is the actual size of it. Just here, this is copper. This isn't. This bit here is stone, and it's laying on top of the copper. But this is copper, that's stone. So this is copper, and the idea is we get to the edge of it, and we chase around the edge. And if I just keep chopping down, you can see how far down this piece of copper actually goes. It's not just a shell on the top. You can see this copper deposit way down there. i am just keep chopping down because I want to show you. Oh, I've broken into it again. I'm weakening it. But that's copper. That's copper. Now we're getting underneath it. So that's how thick it is. So don't give up. Keep chopping. Keep chopping down, 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 and you will see you will get stuck from time to time, but you can build yourself a ramp to get out. If you just keep chopping in one direction and keep moving, chop, move, chop, move, chop, move, you will see that you actually can pace upwards and it will build a ramp and you will eventually get out now i've cleared this area for trolls and grey dwarfs before i started and that's very important we had a few grey dwarfs but you can't afford to get stuck in a hole and a troll comes along so make sure you've cleared the area for trolls i'll just show you this again because it's a little bit hard to see on the video screen this is copper this is the edge of the copper seam here. And this is what you're looking for. Get to this curved edge of where the copper ends and the stone and the, the rest of the surrounding dirt begins. Now I'm not going to cut into this, or I might just, just to see how we go, but I just want to show you the size of that. You saw this this bit that I cut out, that's what was exposed above the ground. 
all the rest of this is under the ground. Now I'm going to chop into it just to see how much I get. This bit here, remember that's our little bit of stone. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to hammer into this copper. And I can see how much I get. Now, what you can do at this point here is you can start chopping into this stone and get the copper that's bedded inside it. But I'm not going to bother with that because that takes a lot of cutting. You go through uh, your pick, you'll damage your pick, and you'll be forever sharpening it just to get a couple of handfuls of copper. We don't really need that much. But you can see what we've got here. This It's like an iceberg. One third of it was sticking up. The other two thirds of it was buried. Now I'm just going to keep going through here and I'm going to show you I got about 20 copper the first time round and I'm going to show you how much we can actually get if we don't give up so soon. There it is. That's pretty much mined out. There's probably a few more seams, a few little specks here and there. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, that's that's as far as I'm prepared to go. I'll call that done. And I'm just going to go back to this little base here. And um, let's have a look at how much we got. Now in this one here, this 20, that was what I got from the very first mining and what we got in here we got 30 60 62 from what was left under the ground so there was 20 above the ground and 62 under the ground a total of 82 we got from that node and we could have given up after 20 so there you have it don't stop too soon. Trace around the edge. Find the edge of your seam and go down and down and down. And then uh, cut your path out. And you will get four times as much coal, uh, four times as much copper as you might have originally thought. Leaves a nasty hole in the ground, but that's mining. That's the mining industry. There's not much we can do about that. We can clean it up a little bit, but it's not really worth it. We just leave that, move on. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. hope this has been some help to you all. And I uh, hope to see you again in the next episode. In the meantime, keep playing Valheim. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.